Hi, and welcome to my channel. Today, I will review May Comebacks. But before we start, here is a little disclaimer. So, I was quite surprised that the song started with the chorus, but I just thought that it's just the intro. However I was wrong and it actually was the chorus, so I am a little bit disappointed. But the B-sides, they're so good. I love Fire in the Belly and Flash Forward. Half of the songs on the album were already released so I don't have anything to say about them. The other B-sides are fine I guess. Overall, 7 out of 10. Baby! I don't really like the title track. The pre-release Tantara grew on me a little bit. However I still wouldn't play it on a daily basis. But the other B-sides. I love Rum Pum Pum. Never forget you. All the way here. Fighting. I live for that song. And Kiss Me. So I like 6 of the 10 songs and the other are fine too. So overall. 9 out of 10. <laughs> So, until I started making this video, I didn't even knew that they debuted but the debut song and album doesn't suit me. I don't like the title track and not even the b-sides. The only song I kinda liked is Deja Vu. I thought that I'm gonna like it because I like Trickle's debut, but I just don't like it. Overall, 4 out of 10. When the first beat of the song started playing, I couldn't believe it because it was very unexpected. But even at that time, I could tell that I am not gonna like it. And I was right. I think it's just a too much of a change for Espa. But don't get me wrong, I think it's totally fine for groups to change their concept. But I think it was a too much of a change for Espa. I don't like spicy but over the time, it grew on me by just like a 10%. And the only part that I actually like is the first part of the pre-chorus. Welcome to my world is actually very good. Even though it's very different, it's very interesting to listen to. Salty and sweet is very good. I especially like the chorus. Thirsty is kinda boring. I think that I'll never listen to it again if I don't have to. I'm unhappy is very good too. I really like the chorus and the lyrics. Till we meet again is fine. Nothing spectacular but for the last song on the album, it's good. Overall, 8 out of 10. I was very excited about this comeback because I really like Onias and they didn't disappointed once again. Let's start from the intro. It's very chill but I love the instrumental. It's really beautiful. The title track. Even though Onius is definitely my third most fav group. I must say that this is one of my least fav title tracks by them. But even though I don't like it as much as their other title tracks. I still really like it and I especially like the pre-chorus. I was a bit dissatisfied with the chorus. But unforgettable. Now we are talking about something. This pre-release and also B-side is spectacular. It gives me nostalgic vibes and I love it so much. And especially the Huan Wung's parts. Echo is a very chill song but I feel like nothing's missing. It's just very listenable song. Halley's Comet is a very beautiful song. I hope that they'll perform this song at their concert. It's just beautiful. Overall, 9.5 out of 10. <laughs> First of all, let's start with the B-side. Cherish is a very chill song but I find myself listening to this song more and more these days. I just really like the overall summer vibes of this song. The title track is a definitely good first comeback for a group from small company. I think that the only part I don't really like is the first part of the pre-chorus. But overall, 9 out of 10. Love, 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 
So I have never seen them before I was making this video but I'll definitely follow them from now on. I also listened to their debut and it was also good. This song is very good and the summer vibes are perfect. Overall, 9 out of 10. If I'll pass that 4 out of the 7 members are minors and the youngest is born in 2008. The company really did a great job on this song. It's really pretty and even the MV is beautiful. Song that is nice to listen to. I don't know why but Sirius sounds like a song out of a survival show. Do it and with us are fine but do it is better. Overall, 7.5 out of 10. I was quite excited for this comeback because it's Idol and I liked their title tracks until oh my god and I thought that I'll finally like their new comeback. But when Allergy was released, I was sure that it's gonna be another comeback of theirs that I'm not gonna like. And I was once again right. I don't know what is about Idol's latest comebacks, but I just can't get into their songs. The only song I like is Paradise and I think that I didn't listen to that song since it was released. So overall, 5 out of 10. I was quite disappointed about the chorus of Bite Me but after a while, it grew on me. When I was listening to this song the first time, I thought that this song is kinda bland and felt unfinished. Now, I really like the song, but it's just so short. I was excited for a dance break because I think that the best part of Drunk Dazed is the dance break. But I was quite surprised and disappointed because there's no bridge and dance break. Fade is very good and I really liked it on the first listen. Sacrifice is a very interesting song that I'll definitely listen to many times. I think the same about Chakan. Karma is very cool and good. The only song that I don't really care about is Bills but that song is still fine. Overall 8.5 out of 10. Because I'm burning but I I was very surprised while listening to this song, because I thought that it's gonna be a very hip-hop-like song with a lot of raps. But I got basically the opposite. Or basically for a while. I don't really like the soft-like parts, but the rest of the song is good. Then I like hype energy and voice. Overall, 6.5 out of 10. I'm very satisfied with this comeback and especially the title track. It's very catchy and interesting. Jiwoo's voice is beautiful and Samin's vocals are very beautiful too. The boys' raps are very addictive and are one of my fav parts of the song. Without You is fine. It's not one of my fav songs on the album but it's fine. Fuck You is a song of only Samin and Jiwoo but I must say that I really like this song. They're literally queens. Bin That Boy is on the other hand the boy subunit song. From these two subunit songs, this is my favorite one. This song is definitely gonna be one of my most fab songs of 2023. I must say that I blushed so much while listening to Kate. The lyrics. I love that song. Overall, 9.5 out of 10. So, even before they debuted, I knew that their music will not be for me. And I was kinda right. Serenade is fine. I don't think I will ever listen to it again but it's still fine. But I must admit that I was kinda blushing while reading the lyrics. One and only feels kinda unfinished but it's still a listenable song. And I think that I like but I like you the most. It's fun and nice to listen to. So overall, 6 out of 10. I didn't really like their previous two comebacks so I was excited for this comeback. But I don't like it even as much as their previous two comebacks. I really don't know why but I just can't get into their recent music. And it's a pity. Basically, the only part I like is the last chorus and that's it. I don't even really like the B-sides. They're fine but I didn't edit them to my playlist. 
So overall, 5 out of 10. Tear dream, sorry,